Hello, you dudes. What is the ups? Uh, let's see. Today's a new day, of course. Uh, it's not an old day. Um, and uh, I don't even know what the F I'm going to do today. But basically, I just realized that my grandma gave me some money from my birthday. Mike Peralta, semi-daily vlogs. Music Mike vlogs. Okay. It's sitting on my desk. And what I do is if I put the birthday money that I received from someone straight into my bank. By the way, my birthday was like three months ago. If I put the money straight into the bank, then it just goes to bills and bullshit. So, um, I usually try to spend it right away. But this time, I don't know what happened. Like, I put it on the desk. I got a bunch of bookmarks of like, oh, I'm going to buy all these things. That cost way more than I actually received. And then I didn't spend it. So now I just realize I have like free money that I can spend on bullcrap. I might get like a thing... That records the video games, finally, so I could do like my old school Xbox, it's not even a new one, it's an old one. Or... I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. What should I buy, you guys? I gotta buy something cool. What else? Oh, I have a show in like two days from today, and I haven't practiced guitar in seriously like two weeks or singing, which is typical. I I'm really crappy at practicing. Have you ever looked at me and thought like, man, this guy sucks? Or like, you know, fix your tempo, or you know, whatever. Uh, I guess that's maybe my secret excuse is that I don't actually ever, ever, ever practice. Like, I'm the worst. I'm the worst at practicing. So what else? I'm going to try to make sure that my vlog's 15 minutes today and not 30 minutes and not, like, only 8 minutes. I'm trying to figure that out still. Maybe I'll practice guitar for a little bit. <laughs> Freddy's bored. He's hanging out. Freddy! What up? What you doing? Come kiss the camera. Say hi to your fans and friends. No? Hey, you good boy. Yes, I love you. <laughs> you don't like that? Or are you playing with me? Are you going to start biting me? Fight me. <laughs> what are you doing? You're turning around. Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Yes, he's biting me. <laughs> Fight me! Fight me! You're a good boy. <laughs> it's a special treat when Freddy bites me because he used to do that all the time when he was a little pup when we first got him. Then he grew up and he decided he was too good to bite me. Well, okay, so I guess saying that stuff made me realize I should probably actually, actually practice like once or twice by my gig on Saturday. So I'm going to do my super boring little finger exercises. Let me show you. This is all that I actually know how to do, besides just playing a song. All right, this is seriously all I ever do. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll go. And I'll try to get the rhythm right. Yeah, so uh, my practice regimen uh, begs improvement. And of course, in order to further reduce the actual positive effect that practicing has, I, bought, I brought my laptop into the room with me so I can sit and chitty chat with all my friends uh, instead of actually focusing on practicing because that's how I roll. And I got a friend on here that I'm chatting with right now. She's talking to me about random things. Um, right now she's talking about the fact that she has a bitch face. And... Um, I don't know if you guys do this, uh, but I do this too, where I'm afraid to just like, you know, stop and smile at people as I walk past them. You know, I do it sometimes and it's fun, but like, you know, in general, you know, you don't want to open up to strangers because they might be weird or they might think that something's like wrong with you for wanting to be friendly because people suck. But um, I wish that I could walk around and just always be like, hello, you know, just like smiling or, you know, nod my head to everyone. But I don't. And then she does it too. And she doesn't even care. Like she just wants to have bitch face. She's like, I love it. Um, and another thing that's funny, um, I hope she doesn't get too mad at me for saying this, is her last name is Sheets. Like, sheets of paper, kind of, but with like a Z. So it's like an elite way of saying that you went to the bathroom. So I love saying her, her, her full name, because it sounds like I'm saying Megan Shits. <laughs> oh, and she wants me to plug, she wants me to plug her. Um, 
She says, if you're saying something favorable about me, then you can plug Shakes... I just spit all over the freaking computer. Shakespeare Orange County. And you can see her this summer in Shakespeare Orange County production. Orange County's production of Much Ado About Nothing. You know what? Alright, I'll leave it in. And she just added in that there are apparently very popular gas stations in the middle part of our country called Sheets. And I would have to add that there's a popular activity that people usually do at gas stations. That also sounds like Sheets. Making Sheets? Even greater desperation. <laughs> Carolyn. You suck so bad. <laughs> Uh, Mom just basically reminded me that I was supposed to buy a birthday present for brother-in-law Dave um, about two weeks ago because his birthday's coming up. Am I in the dark now? And I haven't bought him crap because I'm a shitty brother-in-law and I forget to do everything. Freddy's following me around. You forgot to throw the ball. Okay. Whoosh. Well, now you forgot to catch the ball. So I guess I was just going to go to the music store and pick up some kazoos. Now apparently I will also be going to Target and trying to find a video game. Which means I gotta go back on the computer and figure out what the video game is. It's like Call of something. Call of Mech Warrior 4, uh, Smash Bot 2012. I don't know. Uh, and I would just like to point out that on David's wish list, he has placed a Knuckle Blaster Stun Gun 950,000 volts. And I don't think this is actually a toy because he likes to put toys on his wish and belt buckles and stuff. I think he actually wants a stun gun that is brass knuckles, but it's like plastic knuckles with two little steel contact points on the side where you can stun somebody. Did you know this? Did you know he wants like a stun gun that looks like a brass I knuckles? I've seen this. He wants to be able to punch people out and stun them. What? I know, and freaking dude is trying How to be a nurse you? too. Because he wants... didn't buy his present. <laughs> okay, I'll go right now. Did I remember to tell you guys I'm going to uh, buy some kazoos right now? I forgot because I was just talking to my friend and I told him I was going to. But uh, I need to buy new kazoos because the kazoos that I tried to record for... Ah, I went the wrong way. The kazoos that I'm trying to record for uh, a new song that I'm trying to release called My Dork, they didn't come out right. They sound like crap. So I'm going to just buy some new ones and see if they sound better. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. I might not use kazoos. But yeah. Then the other thing that occurred to me uh, that my mom brought up while I was practicing guitar is that I have a song called Will I Be Okay that I've seriously been playing live for like two or three years because when I write a new song, I start trying to test it out by playing it live uh, to see if it's good or not, if it gets a good reaction or whatever. Um, but then sometimes I just forget about the song. <laughs> don't actually release it, I just keep playing it. So, I might do Will I Be Okay because it's going to be easier to record than my dork. Um, and I'm thinking my dork might need a lot more tweaking. So that's how I think I might practice guitar tonight. I might lay down some drums and some guitar for my dork. I mean, will I be okay? Also, if you look at my previous vlogs, in some of the clips for gig days, you can actually see me playing uh, my dork a couple times. I snuck it in there as like a little Easter egg thing that you guys can try to find. If you want to see what it sounds like before it's actually released. It's my little guitar center coming up right here. Yeah, so long story short, Guitar Center sucks because they did not have kazoos. I swear to God they had them last time. I'm pretty sure that's where I bought them. Or maybe it was Sam Ash, I don't know. They didn't have anything. It was way too loud in there for me to film. There's people playing guitar everywhere, which was fun and cool, but I don't know. I also got too embarrassed to pull out my camera. And I couldn't have said anything. It was seriously loud as hell. And then uh, Target. I'm watching the road. Don't worry, I'm watching the road. I'm watching the road. I'm watching the road. I'm watching the road. Target had the video game that I wanted from my bro-in-law. So at least he's gonna get his crap. And I'll just record the non-kazoo song later today, I guess. Or tonight. Wasted a lot of time trying to nap with Freddy and not actually napping because all he was doing was trying to get away. And I was like, trapping him. Little dog, don't run away, little dog. And he was like, F you, you're not my real father. Yum, 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 yum. It's yummy. Does that taste good, sweetie? I love that Freddy's in the chew sticks again. We used to get him the white ones, I guess. Um, and he got bored of them and stopped eating. He would just leave them on the house. We found these new green ones. I don't even know if you can see. 
There's not anything left of this one. He eats them so fast. We found some green ones in there. I guess more chewy and fun, so he eats chew sticks again. I'm really happy. Because whenever he's bored and he wants a treat and we don't have anything to give him, he just like runs over to his little chew stick and grabs it out from under the pillow and then he's like, yum, 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 yum. Well, I don't think there'll be much harm in showing you a preview of just the drums and the bass and the strings and stuff, because that's not really the actual song. It's just like the backup for the song. <laughs> So that right there is the basics for it. Um, that's not what it's going to be when it's finished. I'll probably change what the synth is and add some extra little tricks here and there and stuff like that. But um, that's the basic thing that will allow me to start recording guitar and singing vocals and stuff like that. So maybe if I'm lucky and I keep up with it, I might be done with it in like a week or less. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's going to be called Will I Be Okay? And if you've come to one of my live shows, then you already know what it sounds like. And you probably didn't realize that I didn't release it yet. <laughs> So yeah, I guess I have to take a break now. I'm gonna go to the gym, um, and then I'll come back and work on this stuff a little bit more. Oh my lord! Well, put the sweat rag here. Ew. That way. Oof. Yeah. Sweat rag. Yeah, shit. That, that way, when I sweat, <laughs> it has to go through the towel before it goes onto the car. It's gross. So I can destroy two things at the same time. You see? Oh my god. So, light. And You're gross and sweaty. I know I am. We both are. Oh, I thought you were just making fun of me. No. <laughs> um, so, I, <laughs> I forgot to show you guys that we were going to the gym. I just told you. Maybe that's better that way. I don't need to always be showing you the drive so I can cut down on time. Um, but anyways, yeah, we went to the gym. I did back um, and biceps and stuff and it was good. And then I did the Norda track, the stair thing with the skis. And I was like, yeah. And I went to the beat of the, uh, the music. So everybody around me knew that I was cooler than them. Because they were just they were just doing the treadmill. They were just like <laughs> treadmill. And I was like, if you don't care, cause the body's in my head. Okay. Am I making a fool of myself right now? I'm tired as hell, but I burned 300 calories. That means four cookies! Wait, we could. You don't agree? Ten cookies then. Ten is the number. I don't know. Dude, you're not so good that you don't need your other arm on the Steering. <laughs> In my day, we we used both hands on our bicycles. Actually, that's a total lie. Right before I stopped riding my bike, uh, when I was little, I got to the point where I could ride with no hands, and even once, just like one good run across my street, down my cul-de-sac, I had my foot on the seat and my other foot on the little bar that you usually smash your testicles on, and no hands, and I would get all the way down my street. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Yeah. Do you believe me? She doesn't believe me. If you're making a turn on palm on the street, put the bonus in my pants, cause the You gonna disown me now or what? I think so. That was really bad. No, no way, no way, no Oops. way. No way. We went to the wrong place. Wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Now you're gonna get sick. <gasps> you can see me in the mirror. You can see me. You can see me in the mirror. There's a dot. <laughs> I can. Continue driving. Light on the camera. Yes. It's gonna be like Mr. Speed bump. Mr. Right. Ah. 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 Going like five miles an hour. Wait, no. Well, hey, speed limit's 15, woman. She's going. An empty parking she's lot. going 20 <laughs> in the parking lot. I saw the posted sign. It's private property. Respect the rules. Oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it, that was a way too delayed reaction. I'm being dumb right now. I'm being dumb. It's because we're supposed to go to El Pollo Loco. That's like really good food, really cheap. Some bean burritos. And she thought we were like, she, and she, she thought we were going to go visit her mom and dad because they, they love KFC. Just, they're trying to get all that grease into their heart. <laughs> they're just fucking tired of running around. Give me that grease. Okay, KFC, if you're listening, I actually love your food. But, you know, it's let's greasy. be let's be honest. Let's, between me and you, it's probably prob 
<laughs> Probably not a good idea if I eat it all the time. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to I'm going to cut the drama right now. Let's get serious. People. Teen pregnancy is a very serious issue. <laughs> oh! Oh, I put your shit in neutral. Oh, this is what you. happens if you talk to me after cardio. Uh, Cuz the body's in Uh That corn spicy though, right? I mean, how is it like oh, hot? My, my ass spicy? can't take a spicy corn uh, right now. Hmm. No, no, no. No, Maybe no. I'll try a small one and just, no, I'll just you, try it. Yeah. No, no, that's not gonna work. I don't think that's. I don't think it's gonna work out for you. It may not. Tomorrow morning you're gonna be re very what? regretful. Spice. They Japan. say that's what they say. They say it's not spicy, but that. <laughs> we, but you're you're asking that question to somebody who actually loves to eat spicy food. So to them they're just like whatever. It's not that spicy. And to I us. <laughs> Super ass spicy. It's it's super ass is what it is. I don't know. Four burritos. Count them. One, two, three, four. Got it. Okay. We have yum yums. I think perhaps the Norda track at the gym made me high. What do you guys think? Um, excuse me, miss. What did you used to say about your corn? What did you just say about that corn right there? What did you say about the corn? It's a little hot. It's a little hot, eh? A little hot. I hope that doesn't make the final cut. All right, I gotta admit this. Dark Shadows is actually okay. Yay! It, it's, gro it's grown on me. So the other two videos that I named, Dark Shadows Can Suck It, Part 1 and 2, just disregard that. They're okay. They're good. It, it grows on you. The evolution of, like, storytelling and, like, you know, filming, TV, and production and all these things. And, uh, I think if you take all that into account, that uh, it wasn't all as uh, technically refined back then, probably pretty good for its day and um, you know it kind of when I think about this in terms of like an indie production that my friends would put together and I stop trying to think of it as like some new sitcom on NBC that's like worth millions and millions of dollars then it actually is pretty good it's fun I have a nagging suspicion Barnabas that you and I will become lovers I'm joking it's a vampire well, vampires are good at sucking. What can I say, man? Oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> it's like this cute little face and such a precious moment. And we got Dark Shadows talking about death and <laughs> eternal suffering right behind him. <laughs> hey, Freddy, let me ask you a question. What do you think about mommy? He's a vampire dog. Hello, Freddy! It's fetch time. Do you see him jump in the dark? Oh no, they're trying on their dresses. Maybe this is what they're all going to go back inside. We're watching the episode right now where uh, everyone's trying on old dresses that they actually wore back in the day. And she's like, when I put on this dress, a chill came over me. And I'm like, yeah, of course you got a chill because your grandma had gone real. Okay, you've made it. still alive. Probably the 19th century deal. I can't believe I'm having the hots for a 75 year old right now. This sucks. Hanging out in my room, uh, recording now, and um, and I'm using that program Reaper that I love so much. Uh, here's a test take of the guitar that I'm recording. See, I've got my guitar right here. Just hanging out, you know, playing and seeing if I can get some stuff. I'm having a problem with my tuner. I just realized the tuner is like 15 years old, so I'm thinking maybe I should bring one of my new ones in here instead of like trashing them in my case every time I bring the guitar somewhere. But um, yeah, oh, here's a little tip if you guys are recording your own music. Um, I'm, I'm doing what the, what I guess you could call a natural chorus effect. You know, you have like guitar pedals that add effects like distortion or whatever. There's a cool effect called chorus and it kind of makes the guitar sound sweeter and fuller and like, you know, different. And just like maybe multiple guitars. And uh, basically, I got the microphone right here. Uh, and I'm like playing the guitar up against the microphone like this. And it's going into the mixer. But, I have it set. See the mic right here? Here's the microphone. I have it set to go to the left channel only, not center. And then, see right here, it's also plugged in. And then I have that going to the right channel. So it's like left and right. And so what I'm basically saying is that I'm recording my guitar twice at the same time. Once through the mic and once through the actual guitar's pickup. And what happens is uh, you get a stereo file with like the left side is like the pickup and the right side is the microphone. But in an audio editor, you can split those up into two different tracks. 
So it's almost like you have two different recordings of your guitar, both in mono. And what that does is it creates a really sweet chorus effect, like very natural chorus. Um, I can't explain it other than to show it to you, but uh, I can't on this vlog, unfortunately, since this is not finished. Maybe in a future vlog I can give you an example, but it'll definitely be on this track. Uh, will I be okay when it comes out? Uh, it'll have this effect for sure and not a fake chorus effect. Um, but uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, so yeah, basically where I first learned about this technique is Nirvana Unplugged in New York. Uh, I was reading the article and they were talking about how they mic'd the guitars and then they plugged the guitars in at the same time and they like, you know, panned one a little bit to the left and one a little bit to the right and then they did individual in EQs on each guitar and it created a nice sweet chorus effect. So, I don't know if that gives you a good idea. Anyway, I don't know how much I'm going to get done. I wasted a lot of my time hanging out with mom and like doing another computer junk that I didn't film. Uh, so I'm going to, I guess, say goodnight to you guys for now. Thank you very much for watching. It's always fun to have you guys hang out and like watch and like comment and say hi to me and all these things. Um, and I feel like everything I do is more important, I guess, because you guys are enjoying it. So, <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at a later date and time and don't get diarrhea. Subscribe, comment, and share, and stuff. Eating ice and cream, drunken selling scenes, saw the future's past.